Omurabi wito Murunji wa Chigez TV, nitu kwa achira mprogram yuti nya Murunji, ea sinjize. Kaina ono manyanti bulisane, nitu wantu kuletela makuru Murunji. Kwa kura mayungwati ya TV, uh, uh, ama sinjizo tiga chari ho, uh, titu chari kufuna ugire wakuza mchachi zitu kushoma. Uh, kwa kura manyangu turabiromu Good Friday, tuwa adishabiromuka, oru wakanuru kwela, tuwa adishabiromuka. Na neli sobo wa sande na kweta ngoba. Sekwa no ijahanu uh, program yuti nya Murunji ya sinjize, uh, uh, Chigez TV. Basa kwa no zami kutite ya Facebook, obase kwa no tukuratiro base kwa no leba kandi za makura kutwa kuleta ni makuru chi amakura kutwa kuleta sandeli zoba tulion tugamba kuzoka kwa Yesu Kristo asore uh, katwa base kwa ntandika program yiti ya munungi ne shara airanga tata ruhango mwana ruhango misoro kwera nikusimira byone byo base kwa no turabya mukama mukama ntumanya tata ali wetino ndi joro ho uh, kandi ze shant kuleta program yiti ya munungi herezo murebi bwitu wa Chigezi TV base kwa no muhereza mani kujangu byone bituramugambire byone bituramusho message zoba bibase kwa ni mkwatirira ho mbiro bwo bwa corona virus obase kwa no tutambira buri ngwara yona family zito obase kwa no protecting kujana tubase kwa tujendero muriwe bero na bishandikura mu mezina ga Yesu Kristo mukama witu amina we bari kuchanga uchawo le bachigez tv kai no mangu no dot kurata amikuti um, yona ya social media twine facebook page to that is chigez tv instagram at chigez tv youtube channel chigez tv basa kwa no zo basa kwa no liking o subscribing o following kuja uchumacho ni shitorayim tu gambira otaka chifegwa like how we start our program i always give you our bible verse this verse that i'm giving you today is about easter because we are preaching about easter the resurrection of jesus christ who is jesus christ he died, he was buried, and he rose again. And why did he rise up? He rose again so that we can be free, so that he can save our sins. So I'm going to be giving you my Bible verse, the verse that I have for you today. It is from Romans chapter 6, uh, Romans chapter 6, then 8 to 11. Romans 6, 8 to 11, it says, Now if we died with Christ, we believe that we also live with him. For we know that since Christ was raised from the dead, he cannot die again. Death no longer has master over him. So it means that we are living with Christ. Christ died so that we can be together. Christ died so that he can rise up again and he lives with us. Since he survived death, he is going to be with us and we are going to be free. We are going to be uh, free with him because even after death, he rose up again so that he can be with us. So death has no anything on us. Death has no reason to be with us. Even after death, we are going to be with Christ. So some who is watching Chigaz TV this Sunday I'm telling you that you shouldn't be worried everything is going on but you shouldn't be worried think about Christ who died and rose up so that he can live with us and for him he died once so since he died once and he rose up again he's not going anywhere he's going to be with us let's go for a short break when we come back we shall be coming back with our teacher who is going to be giving us more who is going to be enlightening us more about Easter Sunday what does it mean how does it go how how should a Christian celebrate Easter? Let's go for a short break. Don't go away. Welcome back from the break. Like I told you, we are going to be having our teacher who is going to be mastering to us this Sunday. He's going to be ministering. He's going to be teaching to us. Let's see what he has for us. But before that, we should know who he is. Good day. How are you? I'm fine, Master. How are you? I'm okay. Uh, I'm so happy to be here again. Hmm. Thanks so much for our viewers of Chigezi hmm. TV. Hmm. And uh, such a wonderful day of Easter. It's, it's, it just brings more joy and more excitement in hmm. my heart. And I'm so excited to be here. Hmm. Yeah. You're welcome, Amos. So now... Uh, straight to the point people are eager to know what is Amos going to teach us this Sunday because mm. you know it is a Sunday that we are not going to church mm. it mm. is a Sunday that people are going to pray from home you know Easter always we have masses you have mm. services from morning to evening yeah. but today no going to church we are going to be praying from our homes mm. so let someone who's viewing Chigaz TV get to know the message of Easter wow thanks very much uh, Masi mm. our viewer out there I want to say happy Easter <laughs> it is just a very wonderful day it is it's a very good experience experience for the Christian life and this is a, this is a, a summary of all our Christian life mm. because Easter shows us what Christ actually why he came mm. and uh, and he it's a point where he completed the work of the cross so today I want to share about he is risen mm. and the, and the story is in the book of Mark, Mark chapter mm. number 16 and verses number one mm. it says now when Sabbath was passed Mary Magdalene the mother of James and Salome mm. bought spices that they meant that, that they might come and anoint him. 
very early in the morning on the first day of the week they came to the tomb when the sun had risen and they said among themselves who will roll away the stone from the door of the tomb for us mm. but when they looked up they saw that the stone had, ro had been rolled away for it was very large and entering to the tomb they saw a young man clothed in long white robes mm. sitting on the right side mm. and they were alarmed and he said to them do not be alarmed you seek Jesus of Nazareth who he was crucified he is risen mm. he is risen mm. and he is not here oh. this is a very good news it's a very good news you know you buried someone yesterday tomorrow he's not there exactly mm. and the reason why he is risen mm. it's, it's it's what i want to share with you because the bible says in the book of uh, in the book of first corinthians that he was risen if we can go to the book of first corinthians chapter number 15 and verses number 14. Mm. it says and if christ is not risen mm. your faith is futile and you are still in your sins I mean that when christ when god raised christ from the dead mm. he confirmed that our faith is strong then it also it is also a receipt that we are forgiven amen so having forgiven our sins mm. god raised us from the dead oh meaning if there was if, if there was any sin that was not paid for mm. if there was any sin that 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 was not paid by the blood of Jesus Christ mm. God would not have raised Jesus from the dead amen so he raised him from the dead because he has declared us forgiven and having been satisfied he raised Jesus from the dead amen and and I liked the worry that the women had when they were going to the to the, to the tomb mm. and they asked themselves who will help us to roll the stone mm. they were worried about what was going to happen but when they looked up they saw that the stones already rolled away and this encourages me in this kind of COVID-19 that mm. we are in and we're all worried how will I how will I pay my school fees how will I go through this how who will help me who will give me food mm. the answer is look up mm. when they looked up they saw that the stone is off oh hallelujah Amen. and then they found the angels seated mm. at the tomb mm. because Jesus Christ had risen he was mm. out of the tomb and even the angels sat you see a sitting position is a portion of a finished work mm. when you sit it means the work is finished the work is done so they were done with their work they wrote the stone he passed hallelujah exactly and that is how our christian life starts mercy mm. it starts with the finished work mm. that when christ died and he said it is finished on the cross mm. that was the end of everything Amen. so now there should be no worry there should be no stress to, to that, that comes to you because now jesus finished the work of the cross Amen. hallelujah Amen. again i want to tell you something in the book of romans mm. chapter number four mm. and then verses number 25 mm. romans chapter number four and verse number 25 uh, it says chapter number four and verse 25 mm. it says this it says um, that Jesus was delivered up for our offenses and he was raised up because of our justification mm. he was he was delivered up for our offenses meaning that our uh, meaning that Jesus Christ did not go on the cross for his own sins mm. he was put on the cross he was beaten mm. he who knew no sin became sin mm. and the beating and the pain that he went through it was for our offenses oh. hallelujah so in the same way you and me now can now be justified not basing on your actions but basing on the action of jesus christ so now we are declared righteous not because we do righteous things mm. not because we are good in terms of behavior mm. we are declared righteous because jesus was declared received sin on mm. our behalf mm. just like a, 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 a person who who received sins mm. when he had not sinned oh. that's jesus he received sins on him mm. yet he had not sinned that's how we receive righteousness even when we are still weak because he took our sins oh. and he gave us his righteousness exactly so there was an exchange mm. that's why the bible says that he was delivered up because of our offenses and now he was raised up because of our justification amen I mean that because god now ha was happy and comfortable that look here you are forgiven you are justified now he raised us from the dead amen so now there is no any case on you there is no any case on us so our work that god wants us is to believe in his son and put our faith in what christ has done for us hallelujah amen. then that also reminds me of another scripture in the book of uh colossians chapter number two and then verses number 13 uh Colossians chapter number two and verse number 13 it talks about what happened 
You see, when we see the death of Jesus on the cross, we shouldn't, we shouldn't see Christ as if he's uh, different from us. Mm. We should see ourselves in that death. That's why Bible says in the verse 12 that we were buried with him in baptism, in which we are also raised with him through faith in the working of God who raised him from the dead. Amen. So when Christ died and when he was being buried, it was as though they were burying us together with him. Oh. Hallelujah. That's and in the same way that even when he was being raised from the dead, mm. it is as if me and you were raised from the dead. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> so now, that's why we no longer have as you said earlier in your, in your scripture, mm. that now death no longer has any power over us. Actually, it's in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter number 15 and verse 55 that says, Oh, death, where is your power? Mm. Oh, where is your vic- Where is your power? Mm. Where? Because before Jesus Christ came, mm. death reigned. Mm. You see, when Adam sinned, mm. the, the, the entire ne- uh, mankind, mm. we all qualified to die mm. because the wages of sin is death. Oh. So death was in control. Mm. Death reigned. And death could take up any, any other person. Now, when Jesus Christ came, mm. through death, he died mm. on our behalf mm. and he fulfilled the, power, the, 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 the he fulfilled the demands of death because yeah. they saw that sins must die. Mm. So he came and he received our sin mm. and he died. That's why even after death, we need to rejoice because Jesus died once and he's reigning with us exactly, even after death. Exactly. Mm. So now we can laugh at death. Mm. That's why we can tell you boldly for the people who are listening and who are viewing us out there mm. that COVID-19 will not kill you. Amen. You can believe and say for me, I will not die. Because me. Jesus Christ mm. took up the death mm. and now death no longer has any more power. Amen. It no longer has any control over you and me. Amen. So now we are led by the Spirit. God is controlling us and we are living in the life of Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So because of that, because we died with him and we are raised together with him, mm. and now it says, you, uh, verse number 14, having wiped out the handwriting of requirements mm. that was against us, mm. which was contrary to us, mm. and has taken it out of the way, mm. having nailed it on the cross. Mm. So even Christ being on the cross mm. is also a sign that he has nailed the law. Amen. The law that was telling you, thou shalt not, thou shalt not. Christ nailed it. He said, I've not come to remove the law, mm. but I've come to fulfill it for you. Mm. So he has fulfilled it for you on our behalf. Amen. Hallelujah. So now, after nailing it on the cross, and he finished the work, so now the enemy no longer has any more power. And verse 15 says, having disarmed principalities and power, mm. and he made a public spectacle of them, mm. triumphing over them. So publicly, the, the, the resurrection of Jesus Christ was a public display of the devil that he's overcome. Amen. And, and actually another part in the gospel says when he died, mm. the three days that he spent in, in the ground, he took the light down to those people who had died before he came, mm. that were kept in paradise or in uh, Abraham's bosom. So he went and preached the gospel to them and he rose up with, with them. That was so beautiful. This is so beautiful. Mm. So now we should celebrate Easter and, and, and not look here. Our death, Christ met it. And when he rose up from the dead, mm. he declared us forgiven, he declared us righteous. Hallelujah. We have a big reason to celebrate Easter. Someone is watching Chigens TV because most people are worried. Hallelujah. So as I was telling you, that in these times of, of Easter, it's a time whereby we celebrate the, 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 the resurrection of Jesus Christ mm. and, and we, we come to a point whereby we know that the death of Christ was our death. Amen. As, as I conclude, I want to read you a scripture in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter number 5 and verse number 14 mm. that says, For the love of Christ mm. compels us mm. because we judge thus that if one died for all, then all died. That because one person died, Christ Jesus, mm. all of us died. Amen. So all our death was wrapped up in the death of Christ. Mm. That now even if, if for those people who have put their faith in Christ, if you die now, we, actually for us we don't, we don't die, we just go to sleep. When you die now, you mm. actually, you, 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 you come to the reality of, of your, your real person in Christ. Mm. So you find yourself in, 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 in God. Mm. You are not going to, to die and then go to hell. For you, when you die, you are coming to a point where you actually you become more alive mm. than what you are in. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the death of Christ mm. was our death. And saying that, that he who died for all, mm. that those who live should no longer live for themselves, mm. but for him who died for them 
and rose again. Amen. So God wants us to be in this life, mm. knowing that it's not us living by ourselves. Mm. I'm not planning for my own future. I'm not struggling for myself. I'm living my life in Christ Jesus, mm. who loved me and died for me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So that's why I want to give you an opportunity, child of God. Mm. That just as one man, Adam, brought death, mm. this new one man, Jesus Christ, has brought life. Amen. And he wants us to receive the abundance of his grace mm. and the gift of righteousness mm. so that we can reign in life. Mm. Remember before, death reigned over us. Mm. Death controlled us. Now by the death of, Christ, of Jesus Christ and his resurrection, mm. now we are in life. Amen. So now we are reigning in life. Praise Hallelujah. be to God. And how do you do that? Mm. You, get, you, you have to believe this gospel mm. and put your faith in Christ. And you can, you can, you can put your faith by repeating this all together with me. You can say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. Today I've heard your word. Today I've heard your word. I believe. I believe. That Jesus Christ died for my sins. That Jesus Christ died for my sins. And his death. And his death. Was my death. Was my death. I therefore declare. I therefore declare. That Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ. Is my Lord. Is my Lord. And my Savior. And my Savior. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you very much, Amos. That was a wonderful Easter message. But before we leave, uh, we have to make sure that we let people know you can send Easter greetings to your family. Yeah, I want to send a happy uh, Easter to my family, to my wife, uh, Winnie, who is actually watching. And then to our followers, we have mm. very many people who are so blessed by the ministry, Shepherds mm. at Ministry. We want to thank you so much, people around around the world, actually, mm. people who are always live streaming. Thank you so much. God bless you and a happy Easter to you all. A happy Easter to Amos and thanks for coming and blessing people this Easter and remember this Easter Sunday we are shooting from Little Reese restaurant you can come and have a view of Kabali town you can come and have your best food your best meals you can come and have breakfast they have gardens behind there so if all goes well we shall be coming at Little Reese restaurant to come and have our dinner our food and our celebrations even if you're celebrating Easter you can bring your family here but there shouldn't be more than five people remember we are in uh, we are in quarantine and we are restricting the people to be moving Let's go for a short break. When we come back, I shall be giving that inspiration of us that is going to be with you this Easter, that you're going to read and you say, okay, I'm powered this Easter Sunday. Don't go away. Let's come back. Uh, thank you very much for keeping it on, on our Facebook page. Chigaz TV, YouTube channel Chigaz TV, Instagram at Chigaz TV. Thank you very much for always liking, subscribing, following us. You give us the energy to keep moving. I know that people that are always uh, streaming live from Kampala, we have Rachel T. Thank you very much for always streaming live and watching Chigaz TV. We have people in Bara, we have people who are in USA. Ian from uh, Ian, thank you very much for always streaming live and following our all, all programs from Monday to Friday. And uh, to everyone around Kabale Town, thank you very much. Let me give you an inspiration of verse and this verse uh, comes from uh, the verse that I'm going to give you it is from Luke 24 6 7 Luke 24 6 7 it says remember how we told you while he was still in Galilee that's not the son of man must be delivered over the hands of sinners be crucified and on the third day he raised again uh, that is what I'm telling you they told you they prophesied that he was going to be killed and then he will rise and indeed he rose from the from the dead so i'm telling you someone jesus rose from the dead believe the gospel don't always be doubting there are people always doubt that they did this they did this it's not happening we are in a time where people are going to be terrified where people are going to be doubting because of what is happening but keep the gospel truth and the truth is going to set you free thank you very much for always watching chigas tv and for always subscribing to our youtube channel because we are seeing the uh, subscribers are always including a day that comes in. I want to wish a very, very happy Easter to my family, Mr. Vias Garao, David and family. Uh, thank you very much for always being on and everyone that has already liked our Facebook page. Thank you very much. Keep keeping on and remember wash your hands, don't touch your face, don't touch your mouth, don't touch your nose and remember to stay home to keep safe. I've been Mercy Trophy it's in this program. Thank you very much Iris Media on the camera for any photo shoot contact Iris Media. Thank you very much. See you next Sunday.